today we're tying a size 12 Amex. Uh, fish this pattern both a 12, 14, and a 16. If you remember, we tied the, the rainbow check last winter. And this is just a cousin, so to say. We're going to tie it on just any standard uh, scud hook. This one in particular is the Dairiki 135. And on a size 12, you're using a 1 8 nickel tungsten bead. Start the thread like we usually do behind the bead. On a scud hook, it's kind of arbitrary where you decide the bend begins but we'll we'll tie it down to about here work our thread back up the ribbing material on this fly is just medium black ultra wire just tie it in up here again this will all be buried so now we're going to dub the body For the body on this fly we are just using wopsy bighorn pink sow scud dubbing. We want a pretty pronounced body so we're going to use a lot of dubbing. We're going to start off with a thinner rope because we do want that body kind of tapered. Well, you don't have to be shy about using dubbing on this fly. We want just a bit more. Let's sweep some of those fibers back. Mm -hmm. That'll do. All right, now we're going to wrap this ribbing. We'll do it a couple, four or five wraps. Again, you want these wraps pretty evenly spaced out. Bring our thread up in front of the dubbing. Just tie it off a couple, four, five, six wraps. Break that wire off. Okay, now this fly has a flashback. The flashback on this fly, we're just using large flat pearl tinsel. We're just going to tie our flashback in, tie it right on the top, take one loose wrap, kind of capture that, get it on top right where you want it. Now just bind it down with some tight thread wraps. The color of that fly is just rainbow sow scud dubbing, and this we want it to be pretty buggy, so we're going to use a lot of dubbing and dub it pretty loosely. Notice how I'm just doing a couple quick little twists just to get that dubbing barely on the thread. And then as we wrap it, it'll knot up on itself. Push down that bead, make sure the bead's secured. Sweep those fibers back. Looks about right. Now we're just going to pull the flash back over. Again, sweep some of those fibers back just a little bit so they're not covering the bead. Hold that flash back right on top. Make it a loose wrap. Make sure it's still sitting on top couple firm wraps, cutter flash, again just a standard five turn whip finish, a little dab of glue and there you have it, a completed size 12 Amex.